Hi, this is Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and this video is going to introduce you to our LED Traffic Glove project, which is a custom-made glove with a built-in battery pack and red and green LEDs that are controlled by pinching your fingers together, which allows you to give stop-and-go signals to traffic and pedestrians. This project does assume you will have access to a soldering iron, but you can also use conductive epoxy, or as a last resort, you can twist wires together, but we do recommend soldering the connections if possible. So this video will take you through step-by-step -step directions to get started building the glove, and we also have written directions available on our website. To get started with this project, you'll need the materials pictured here. You're going to start out with a lightweight winter or work glove. We have uh, two AAA batteries and a battery holder, 10 LEDs, five of them are green and five of them are red, specifically designed uh, for e-textiles to work with the LilyPad Arduino. You'll need a pair of wire strippers, electrical tape, copper tape, and some insulated wire to make all your connections. So the first step here is you're going to use your wire strippers to cut four segments each of red and black wire. The exact size will depend on the size of your glove and how far apart you want your LEDs. And you're going to use those wires to wire together all the positive and all the negative terminals of your five red LEDs and your five green LEDs. And if you forget what color they are, remember that you can just flip over the lily pad LEDs and they have a little band on the back indicating whether they're red or green. The next step is to use electrical tape to tack down your green LEDs onto the back of the glove and put the red LEDs onto the front of the glove. If you want to do something more permanent later, like use glue or thread to sew the LEDs permanently to the glove, you can do that. But for now, we'd recommend just using the tape to hold it there temporarily in case you need to move the LEDs later. Now you're going to get ready to connect the battery pack. So put your two AAA batteries into the battery pack and then put the cover back on. Make sure the power switch is in the off position for now. Then you're going to solder the negative lead from the battery pack, which is the black wire, to one of the negative pads from, of your LEDs. Now you can do this to any of the LEDs since they're wired in parallel. We would recommend doing it to the green ones on the back since that'll be a little more ergonomic, but it's up to you depending on how you assembled your glove. And then you're going to use a third wire to connect the ground connection from the green LEDs on the back to the red LEDs on the front, and that will ensure that all of your LEDs are, share a common ground, which is connected to the battery pack. So next you're going to cut two strips of red wire that are going to go onto the thumb and middle finger of the glove. This will be what allows you to control the LEDs by pinching your fingers together. So you're going to cut those out and then solder them to the positive pads of two LEDs as you can see here. Next you're going to get your copper tape ready and wrap a strip of it around the thumb and then once you've gone around the thumb once, pinch the exposed metal end of the wire into the tape. Make sure you pinch it nice and tight so you have a good electrical connection and then you can add some solder if necessary. And that's what's going to connect this copper contact pad to the wire, which is then connected to the positive electrode of all your LEDs. You're then going to do the same thing with the middle finger of the glove. Make sure you don't put the copper tape too far up because you need it to be able to touch the same point on the index finger that the thumb can reach. Now, next you're going to get ready to connect the positive terminal of the battery pack. You may need to make that wire longer. So here you can see we've cut an extra segment of red wire, soldered that to the wire on the battery pack, and then wrapped that connection over with electrical tape. And then again, you're going to do the same thing where you use copper tape to wrap once around the finger and then tightly pinch the exposed metal end of the wire in the copper tape to form an electrical connection to this copper contact pad that will then bump up against the other pads to light up the LEDs. So now your glove is almost complete. The last thing you can do is tuck the battery pack into the wrist of the glove or maybe cut some slots and use some tape to hold it in place firmly. And then when you switch the battery pack on, when you pinch your thumb and index finger together, the red LED should light up. And then when you pinch your pointer finger and middle finger together, the green LED should light up. And you now have a working traffic safety glove. Remember that you can find written directions for this and many more science and engineering projects at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.